what is up bookworms it's me again the proactive bookworm I'm back with you with another video and uh, sa pagka alam ko guys ito ang first video vlog ko of 2020 so to you guys happy new year mga bookworms and uh, we're here 2020 and kumusta naman ang ating mga current reads Jan. Uh, let me know what books you are reading now for me uh, I just finished reading Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. Nakuha ko to noong 2019 sa Big Bad Wolf dito sa Cebu. And um, it's a great read, very informative, and those are one of the benefits of reading non-fiction, guys. Malami kayong matutunan from non-fiction books, uh, from psychologists, chaka researchers. So I highly encourage you guys for 2020, challenge yourself to open a book and try to read mga non-fiction books. You know, instead of um, scrolling sa Facebook or Instagram for four hours a day kasi yung mga Filipinos on average scroll social media four hours a day so imagine ilang pages of books ang kaya nyong mababasa in a day if instead you try to read books but I'm not forcing you guys I'm just telling you encouraging you to why not make 2020 a start in your um, rediscovering your reading habits and yeah uh, magandang book ito guys Persuasion by Robert Cialdini nakuha ko to for about 240 pesos lang at Big Bad Wolf so yeah uh, I'm done my first finished book of 2020 and now I am currently reading The Growth Delusion by Robert Peeling Ang book na ito is about society, wealth, poverty, and yung mga growth of nations. So again, another non-fiction read to just to stimulate the mind, no? Instead of like um, uh, playing video games or whatnot, or I'm not saying bad yon, but it's highly addictive yung mga ganon. And books, I guess you can say addictive, pero my relaxation factor kasi yung reading books. So, yun, that's what I prefer to do and that's what most bookworms are. If you met or if you meet a bookworms, if may kakilala kayo na bookworms, you would realize na napaka uh, friendly at patient nila na tao and very open-minded sila kasi naman nahasa na yung mind nila to be open to new ideas and concepts kasi those are the things that books provide you yung mga new concepts and ways to view the world and those are the benefits of reading non-fiction books so again guys try nyo this 2020 to pick up a book and kahit 10 pages a day 20 pages a day and imagine the things you would be able to absorb and know from reading books and also guys it's a form na din of relaxation of minimizing your phone use, your smartphone use, your social media dependence. Because most of you, I bet, uh, work on a desk job every day, nine hours a day, nakatuto kayo sa computer, sa screen. And then it's good naman no, when you are at home or when you are at your free time na you are not facing your screen. You are reading a book and enriching your minds with information and ideas and yun ang gusto kong maibahagi sa inyo guys na may madaming benefits reading book. I also have a video from 2019 about the benefits of reading books and why men should read books so go check those out guys in my previous videos. So yeah, ito yung... So guys, let me know anong mga books na binabasa nyo ngayon and sino, sino, at sino-sino mga authors yung um, tinatangkilik nyo as of the moment and anong mga books ang gusto nyo basahin this year in 2020. And also guys, for those of you who are watching this video na rin, uh, I would just like to go over mga bestsellers ngayon as of January 2020 sa NBS National Bookstore at sa Fully Book para, para naman ma-aware kayo guys sa mga best-selling books at anong mga books ang binabasa ng 
majority. So, ito sa National Bookstore, as of January 2020, yung bagong book ni E.L. James, yung The Mister. I believe si E.L. James yung writer ng um, Fifty Shades of Grey series. So, may bagong book siya, The Mister. Meron ding Only the Real Matters by Francis J. Kong. So, parang business-related self-help book ito. And meron ding book, bestseller pa din, ang kang Mark Manson na Everything is Fucked. And hindi yan bad word kasi title yan ng book. Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, Rick Riordan's The Trial of Apollo, I Love You Since 1892 book series. May review ako nun, so check nyo guys. Uh, it was a review with me and my sister, so I Love You Since 1892. Meron ding bestseller pa din ang yung book, ang biography, autobiography ni Vice Ganda, yung Tutoy. And then bestseller pa din yung book ni Mitch Album na The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. Then meron ding Ghost of the Shadow Market, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wrecking Ball, Poem Sha by Lang Live, yung bagong book ni Lang Live as of January 2020. Uh, 599 yung price ng Poemsha 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 uh, Let me know guys paano to pronounce And then Ano pa ba? Tuesdays with Mori Of course, bestseller yun Frankly in Love By David Yoon Rich Dad, Poor Dad Ang ganda ng book na ito By Robert Kiyosaki A classic business financial book Guys, Rich Dad, Poor Dad Now only for 395 At National Bookstore Mitch Albom's Finding Chica. Ito yung newest book ni Mitch Albom, Finding Chica. Meron ding Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. Meron ding mga history books ni Ambeth Ocampo. Biography ni Heart Evangelista. And then Find Me by Andre Asiman. So meron ding Love Looks Pretty on You by Lang Live. So poem book. Then yung book na gusto kong basahin this year ang book by ang pinakabagong book by Malcolm Gladwell which is Talking to Strangers so naka hardbound pa din siya so if ever mag-release yung uh, mass produced softbound version paperback ayon uh, ang kukunin ko Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell sa fully book naman guys, ang mga best sellers nila yung Lebron Incorporated, The Montessori Toddler, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century by Yuval Noah Harari, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, Batman Damned, The Water Dancer, at saka The Starless Sea, a novel by Erin Morgenstern. So yun ang mga best sellers ng fully book. So guys, um, yun ang mga bestsellers as of January 2020. So feel free to let me know guys, alin sa mga books na yun ang gusto nyong basahin for this year. And um, may pinost pala ako na question sa Instagram page ko at Pinoy Bookworm. At ang question na yun is, ano ang mas bet nyo guys? NBS, National Bookstore, or Fully Booked? You can vote On my Instagram story, guys. On Instagram, of course, at Pinoy Bookworm. And also, you can check out the books I am selling at discounted prices. Also on Instagram, at Pinoy Bookstore. And yun ang mga topics na i-discuss natin in my next video. And uh, thank you once again, Bookworms, for watching this video. If you have a Bookworm friend, feel free to suggest my videos to them and let's continue to grow this Pinoy bookworm community para the more, the merrier. Thank you guys and see you on the next one. Peace.